Rice Ben, Yumi Ben, Vi Ben, Caitlyn, good. I mean, it's Zeri, Lulu, Lucian, Nami, Syndra, Cassante, Fiora. Do you think Zek, uh, Kingen will just first rotate Fiora? I hope so. Elise Ben, oh yeah, Clid is a really good Elise player. Clid is a huge Elise player. Actually, dude, Zeka looking good. Okay, just first pick, first pick Zeri. Or Varus is also fine. Or Lucian Nami, yeah. I think Lucian Nami is best. So I think it's better to first pick Nami over Lucian if you have a um, Draven player. Because then if you pick Nami and they pick Lucian, you can go Draven Nami. But if you pick Lucian and they go Nami, then they can go Draven Nami. You don't have Nami for Lucian, so you have to play Lucian Lulu or something stupid. Ash first pick? Okay, what we got? What we got to cook in HLE? Show me. Maokai jungle? Like it? I think they can go Varus here as well, or they can go Lucian. Why? Just pick Lucian? No, what? They're scared of poke lane, but I think it's fine. The thing is, picking Varus here, to me, doesn't make much sense, because you're denying Ash Varus, yes, but if they go Ash Heimerdinger, what are you picking, you know? That's the question. It's it's not a huge risk, because maybe they don't play Heimer, but if they do play Heimer, then what's the plan? Because it feels like you can't pick a support on three apart from Karma, and the Varus loses, like, a little bit of value. Yeah, so, like, taking away the Varus doesn't make sense now, so what is the answer? They must have thought about it. You can only really pick Karma, but I don't think it's good. Unless you're playing Jin support or something, Azir support. I think just picking Lucian Nami is better. Yes, Soraka is fine, but I don't think there's anything that wins. Jin support! Jin support! Yeah! Jin support! Let's go! Jin support is a thing. So Jin support is picked into Heimeninger. How do you know all about this much in drafts? Well, I think the only reason is just you just keep up with the meta. People are playing. Jin support in solo queue into uh, into Heimer. I mean, people. Beryl has been playing Jin support into Heimer. Well, they need to pick something that they can like. The way Jin support works is it's very good at making picks, right? You know, you long range W someone who's out of position and then ult them, and you support your person in the one v one. So they need to pick something that has really good pick potential. I think Syndra is a good champ with good pick potential. LeBlanc is a good champ with pick potential. Uh, Camille. You know, these champs that can actually impact really hard. Also, they could play some kind of... I like the J-Span, because they could pick Zoe here and do some kind of, like, psycho poke comp. You know, imagine you're against Varus, Jin, Zoe, you know, Jace, trying to defend towers. Like, there is a poke angle there somewhere, I think. Oh, Zeka Silas. Zeka Silas. Oh, classic. Classic. Yeah, Talia, I, I like her, but their comp is so heavy AP, man. Where's the fucking... We need something in top here. Nar? Oh, it's terrible. We can't pick Nar into Silas. Mm, Camille Blind is fine with Jax Fiora down. I think Camille Blind is okay. Aatrox is also not bad. They have short range. I would be scared of King and Camille though. Yeah, Nar, Camille, or Renekton, I think, are the three picks which are good here. I actually like... I don't like Nar too much because of Talia. It's the safest, but... It was Beryl who first designed the Jin support, wasn't it? It was Beryl, right? I'm not fucking cooked. Hey guys, it's Kajal. Uh, I'm gonna be pumping out loads of YouTube content, but I noticed that a lot of you aren't subscribed. There's gonna be a graphic somewhere. Maybe my editor puts it up. Uh, but if you could subscribe, it really helps. Uh, I really appreciate all the support on the videos recently. I'll try to be covering all the uh, major regions across the world as much as I can. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching the videos. Enjoy, bitch. Okay, so I've not, I, I, as much as I know that Jin support is a thing, I haven't watched how it works. Also, how much value does Mercury Treads give against KDF's comp? Like, if I don't see fucking four Merc Treads, then open. So I think you just Q-Auto the turrets as Jin. KDF doesn't have Keen? No, he went to KT. KDF is basically four rookies and doo-doo. Yeah, I don't know why. Why does Jin have Dark Harvest? I mean, it makes sense for your fourth shot, but I feel like something like Comet is just better, isn't it? Oh my god, Viper is griefing. Okay, Young Jay, the three camps top side into top hover, but you can't just kill King and Lil Bro. Oh, this gank is insane. Oh, Heimer's dead. Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? First of all, why did Maokai flash? Second of all, why did he Q him out of Jin W? Third of all, wow, what the fuck? Super team, super meme, I can see it already. Oh my god, man. No, calm down, guys. Calm down. It's fine. We'll see. Let him, 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 let him make, let him work it out.
so it does make what? sense. Young Jay is flashing on Clint. He's like, I should have been the What the fuck? <laughs> and he's gonna pick up Young the Jay, line. holy fuck. Yeah, we didn't talk about two Lil ones, Chad. Okay, I see them. Dude, this KDF roster are all 2005 kids. They're all fucking Zoomers. The Zoomers are popping off. Young Jay was the substitute for Peanut in Gen G last year. Yeah, I remember. Nice little invade, but... Looks like Clid will get it. He just hit 6 and said Joan is close to 7. Oh, they just lost both sums, bot. Viper just lost both his sums. Ash and Heimer ulted him. Wow, they must have... They must have like Ash Arrow, Heimer E, then he had to cleanse Flash out. Uh, it's really hard to lane now. Zeka Viper v POV troll despair. <laughs> I mean, you can't really fault Viper right now. He's blew both his summoners. His support is. <laughs> I mean, not doing much. I'm really not a fan of KDF's mid jungle draft, but it's working. Also, Sejuani seems to be permabanned right now. Ooh, that E buffer. Oh, but it's Zeka, baby. You know him. I know him too. Classic Zeka. Dude, sometimes I wish, like, when I'm casting a game in the studio, that I could read Twitch chat. Because I love it when someone does something insane. Or, like, if I was casting Worlds and Zeka does a play, I just want to see the whole chat spamming Zeka Giga Chat. Like, <laughs> it's just so funny to me. We spam XDD when casters say cancelled. Oh, this guy's fucking dead. Oh, he knocked by the arrow as well. Is he fucking dead? He's not fucking dead. It's Clid. 0-3-0. No cleanse. Nice flash. Oh, no. Life will die. Viper will also die. Oh, he tried to sidestep. I, I respect that. He has boots of swiftness, so he can maybe execute, but Talia ult is probably going to kill him. Yes, he has to... Oh, yeah. Well, Viper POV, Zeka POV, Troll Despair. <laughs> super team, more like super mean. Yeah, how did Talia not die here? He misses E, misses Q. Oh, so Talas has no damage. He can't W in Talia. E. He never landed W. Hmm. Yeah, Zeka did nothing. Okay, Clit's going in. Ooh, Zeka with a nice Talia wall. But Zeka is 1v4. Here comes Kingen, though. Kingen! It's an angle here somewhere. Zeka! And King in. Gets a couple with the Nah, but he's still gonna have to flash away. Now he's mini Nah, and he's so much more susceptible. Oh, Doo Doo! Oh, the it's so clean. Was insanely sick from Doo Oh, it's so clean. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh my God! Wait, how the fuck is he top lane already? He just TP? Oh. My Someone in the chat says, holy fucking cringe when I did that. Then I looked at his chat logs and he says, this is his chat logs. Bite the pillow, daddy. I'm coming in dry. Hmm. Yeah, that guy. You, you okay, little bro? You okay? Sometimes I open my chat's chat logs and I'm like, wow. Sanest schedule in <laughs> So Clid is going to join the game soon, I promise. He's, he's just not there yet. I promise he's here soon. Oh, that's the Jin right there, baby. That's the power of the Jin. The Jin W. That's what the power of Jin support is. But the Sejuani has a hundred. He's gonna have 160 CS at two minutes after at 20 minutes after Grump. What? I've never seen a Sejuani with this much CS in my life. He's almost out farming his AD carry. A Sejuani. Interesting. So it is just support Ash on AD. So what does that mean? Like Aatrox has to carry, I guess, with this build. Uh, yeah, actually, I think they have enough spread damage, like butter. Can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, I'm not sure how good Clit is. I mean, on FPX when they had Shaolahu, he was not great. Um, but then Summit came over and Clit looked a lot more comfortable, and he would like spam gank top. And they almost made a miracle run, but it wasn't. It was short-lived. I hate this meta. Why? I actually think there's... Like, this meta is bad, but there's at least room for creativity. Like, like we've seen... I don't know if the creativity is just coincidental, but... There's been Azir support, there's been Jin support, there's been Nidalee top. 
wants this team to be fun you know there's been some like random like not creativity but like just random dog shit <laughs> actually you're right look at this look at this game state zeka level 16 life level 8 <laughs> He's half the level of his mid laner in 24 minutes. Yeah, I mean, we got Cassidy in the meta, we got Ryze in the meta, we got Elise, we got Maokai. In a different form, you know, now it's more of like a first strikey, weird kind of AP Maokai. I think people are sick of Lucian, Nami, Yumi, Zeri, Nar. Oh, and sick of Clid in thing. Oh, Zeka. Oh, dude, he's gonna Penta. It's a Penta for Aatrox. Of the tree and dashes over the wall. Viper in a whole host of trouble as Umbral Dash comes up. Again. Oh my god, is there ads? Zeka trolled the spare man. His team is inting him. Oh, he just got Rabadons. Wait, how fucking fed is this Silas? So King and Khan get in this fight. He has to ult Aatrox into the wall. Zeka's killing Talia, who flashes out. Clid is just fucking dead. Wait, they're rushing Nash. Yo, 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 what the fuck? They're rushing Nash? Flip it, flip it, flip it. Don't choke Clit. Clit, don't choke Clit, don't choke Clit, don't choke. Nice. Huh? What? Oh, Aatrox is down. Viper's dead as well. Can Zeka solo carry the entire game? Ooh. Close. But it's just Zeka and Kingen versus everyone. Viper is is pretty useless, I'm just gonna say it. Clint is absolutely useless. This guy is dude in Korea. When I was speaking to Expect and Mickey. Wait, I'll tell you afterwards. Well, that almost hit me. I love you, Daddy XD. Okay, in Zeka? Are you fucking cooked? He's fucking crazy! Loving the streams. Thank you for providing the XDDs. In Korea, they say uh, bus driver and bus passenger. If you're the bus driver, you're carrying. If you're a bus passenger, you're getting carried. Dude, I think Clit right now is the fucking... He's not just the fucking bus passenger. He's the entire fucking floor and seats. That guy is getting absolutely driven by Zeka. Ooh, he W'd it. Oh, is he going to drop a 0-6? Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Wait, they have Hextech Soul. I didn't even realize. Oh, it's doomed. Come, boy. Come. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me, boy. Oh, the arrow? The arrow's going to connect. Meganar's going to come forward, but King, and he can't lose his GA like this. It's so important. Yes, TV back, TV back, TV back. Play slow, 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 slow. Clint, get the fuck off, Dragon. Clint, you fucking enter. Oh, the face rush. Look, Seka, look, Seka. Look, look. Finding that hero flank, but he's spotted on a wall. And Dudu looks to try and keep him out of this pit. King, and gets himself forward yet again. One more. Let him cook, let him cook, let him cook. As the. Ultimate has to be used let him cook. Dudu, Don't let King and cook. Yes, GA is GA is GA. Yo, where's the fucking team? Is this DRX team 2022? Where's the... Where are the boys? They're gonna finish Drake. Don't get it stolen, Clint. One jump. Yes, he did it. Yes, Clint is here. Zeka. Zeka. Yo. Headshot! Clid MVP. Does nothing all game, shows up, gets Elder secured, leaves. Legend. It's like Zeka and King. This is the comms. Yeah, we can 2v5 them while you finish Elder. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, easy. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, nice on yes. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Just get in there. 10 seconds left on the buff. He's got six items, for goodness sake, on this Silas. No, they can't. Oh, it's definitely not over. This might come down to a next, another Elder fight. Oh, the, 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 the comment, the Elder. Ah, it's off. It just came off the buff. Just came off. To be honest, Wolf, like, I, I've only heard two days of his casting, but his casting, in terms of knowledge, has gotten really good. Like, he's saying a lot of good points, and he's right a lot of the time now. 
I feel like maybe he put some work in the offseason to learn the game a lot, but I actually think a lot of the things he's been saying in the last two days have been quite correct. He's improved a lot. Uh, big props to Wolf. Like, he's got, he's like, he's a good caster. It's just the only thing I had issues with sometimes was he would say things which were just like wrong or kind of weird. But now, this split already, like, he's doing great, I think. Whether you like him or you hate him, just that's all I'm saying. He's just, I think he's, he's got a lot, like, so this, he said a lot of things which are correct. Here's the Weaver's Wall. Yeah, gonna just use it to get them away from this turret. Looking to try Ooh. and utilize the rest of it, but a lot of damage to come through here. The W empowered Ooh. arrow. So much half health junk there in that back. Yeah, there's not much they can do here. It's just an elder fight. Yeah, no I mean, there's nothing they can do. Do you think Jin pivots to. Someone says in chat, do you think Jin pivots to crit super late game? Well, Lil Bro, I'm sorry to break it to you, but he's a support. Like, I don't know if he's ever getting the gold to, to swap to crit. Maybe if this goes to 60 minutes, maybe he can start investing in IE and, and, and Gale Force and stuff. But, like, this guy's on a budget. This guy's on a fucking budget. This looks... To block them off as this looks rather sus. Clip dead. Can they end? Can they end? Can they end? Can they end? Can the boys end? Zeka and King and the legends. Can they end? Is it doable? Yo, life, just flash over the wall. The Nexus, the Nexus, the Nexus. Viper, the arrow. The arrow, the arrow. Oh, close! They did it! The boys did it! They fucking did it! The fucking boys! Woo! <laughs> they just they just ran it down mid and ended. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did they do that? Nah. 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 <laughs> Yo, they just gave him the front door treatment. Never doubt the world champs, baby. I hope Clit wrote jungle diff after that game. Is Les Banelis? Cajal I consent to living in your sex dungeon? Okay. Shut up. Shut up. I don't have a sex dungeon. This fucking cameraman. Where's Elise Ben? Elise Ben. They should ban it against Clid. I think he's just gonna one trick it. They actually ban the Ash. But isn't Lucian Nami just broken now? Dude, if they first pick Lucian, I would lock in Draven Nami and just say suck on it. Wow, they pick Varus. Please pick Lucian Nami. I mean, they're going to play Varus Heimer. This Ashban is useless. They should have been Heimer, maybe. Lucian Nami. But I don't know, Clid's Maokai last game was sussy as fucking bussy. I don't, I don't know if I like... I, yeah, Sejuani is good, but need some good top laner with it. Need Renekton, need Camille, need Fiora. I mean, Cassante is open, but... I think KDF have to ban it. I think they kind of have to ban, like, Cassante, Jace, and they can ban... I don't know, whatever the fuck. They could also ban Silas, yeah, but I don't think Talia's worth a ban. I think Renekton ban is good. They will play Renekton for sure, right? Like, you're griefing if you don't. Yeah, Cassante. Any, any melee AD top, just ban it. I mean, they should ban Silas, yeah. Otherwise, they're fucking high. Cassin and Silas. If they play Azir Sejuani, I'm gonna fucking ult F4 the OBS. I'm ult f the OBS, and no one's stopping me. Why don't they ban Silas? Renekton! Renekton Akali? Is it terrible? No, Akali's terrible versus Maokai. Wait, can they pick Silas? Oh, Victor, man. Is he gonna pick some psycho champ like Akali? Syndra versus Victor is a bit annoying. They have double AP mid jungle. Mm, Akali's pretty nice. I don't know, it's Zeka. He just fucking picks where the fuck he wants. But, uh, like, honestly, if you play double Comet bot, it's dice of cringe. Life is just sidestepping, making fun of them. I love it how Zeka is just playing the world's meta. Like, he doesn't give a fuck. He ain't playing Victor, he ain't playing Syndra, he's not gonna play Cassian, just fuck off. Let me play Akali, let me play Silas. Yo, Lily, thanks for the three months of tier one, you're crazy. So, dude, it doesn't matter if he's a two trick, he won worlds. Hey, what does that say about everyone else? You can win worlds with two champs. So what? It's very difficult to. Oh my god, no, Clid, it's a horror, man. Hi, mamma mia. Hi, mamma. He fucking tried to smite auto, but he got. Oh my god. Ooh, dude, Bulldog is fucking fisting session. Can Zeka base? Like, what is he doing? How is he same CS? That's crazy that he's getting these last hits. I love it how King and Kana just came into the split and said, you know what? We're gonna be NAR one tricks and no one can stop us. Yo. He's dead. Or is he? Okay, he's toying with them a bit. 
again is too slippery. Still getting a lot of value here, forcing life splash. Taven had a fully charged kill. Oh! oh! Oh, that was clean. Not afraid to pull the trigger. That was fucking clean. You say let him cook. He'll head back and does have himself Now life's going to die. I can You smell that? It smells like a dead army. Okay, the flash forward from Johnny's just going to snare up the very easy target in life with no foul. They don't have synergy yet. Well, it doesn't matter about synergy. I think they're just making a lot of individual mistakes like bot lane to be 2 is not going good in majority of the lanes so far. Clid is getting invaded on and misplaying a lot. Uh, Kingen's just been chilling. Kingen's not, King not been doing much. He's just been quietly playing team fights and getting ganked. He hasn't really seen his jungler in a few years. I mean, Clid came top once through an ult and ran away and refused to elaborate. Yeah, Zekka's doing really well. The fact that he's up in CS against a, 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 a victor mid is like, what? Varus should just, yeah, Varus needs to stay. Crazy that Varus almost based. Have to stay and hit. Someone went full caps. I forgot. Oh yeah, it was missing. JDG missing. Yeah, missing. Oh, nice dive. Nice flash. Nice cleanse. Chase, chase, chase. Oh, it's a horror. I just want to see Zekka on a dragon fight. I want to I see him cook it up. Yeah, they got second Drake. Yeah, I think this game is done, though. Unless KDF can find, like... What can they find? Oh! Little fucking boomerang. Nar can catch top tier one safe. Akali can push out bot. I don't know, it's over. I don't want to be that guy, but I don't think KDF can win. I mean, they have good team fight, but... I, I, I mean, I am of the opinion that Poke Varus is trash. Like, I just think this champ is dog shit. I hate it. I don't care. I just hate it. Even when it's ahead, I hate it. It's useless, uh, in my opinion. On hit Varus is only good against short range champs. But even then, why would you play on hit Varus when you can play like worst case Aphelios? And especially when Lucian Nami is up, if you first pick Varus, I'm just like, meh. But yeah, that's just my opinion, at least. It's, a lot of pros seem to think Varus is good. I just don't like it. I guess if you can steal Baron with it, then <laughs> it's OP. <laughs> Zekka, yeah, Zekka's the only one with a bounty and he's 0 0 0. Absolute monster chat. Huh? Oh, Karma? Ooh. He's dead. Damn, big play. They're TPing to Nash instantly. He just fucking TPs and starts it. He's getting ganked by Sejuani. Just TPs top and starts Nash. Five head. Okay, Zekka. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was a distraction. My job here is done, but you did nothing. Exactly. Actually, life's history of playing with AD carries is not bad. Ruler aiming Viper? <laughs> not bad. Shade might. Nope, nice flash. Oh! Taeyun is good with these arrows, man. Okay, Dudu thinks he can take on the legend. You can't, though. He just jumps away. Now what? Oh, Zekka's having a little bit of a sniff. Is Zekka gonna send it? Wow, they've been sieging this tier 2 top for a while. Clit. Fucking Clit. Now, just trying to get into Bro, I put parsley in my tea. I thought it was mint. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, Zekka and King on the flank. It's a fucking DRX H. Oh, King! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The boys. Dude, how fucking nice is it to play, like, bot lane, and then you're, like, kiting back? And then you look, you're, you put your camera at the back of their backline, and they're all dead because Zekka and Kingen are just fisting them. Kingen takes Drake too. Yeah, Kingen stole Drake as well. And now he's, now he's starting Nash. He don't care. Well, HLE's mid to late game when their team fights are good. Not sure how I feel about their early games. Yeah, that was a pretty greedy play. Because they sack mid push because they play melee mids. Clid seems a bit out of it early. And if your mid jungle is not that strong. Oh, Zekka's dead. No, 
because King uh, gets an arm bar. Okay, let's see whether Zeka can do it. He's in the shroud for now. Tayo gets tagged. Oh. Almost goes down. He goes golden. Clid has found an angle, but uh, yeah. No, he, if he had ult, he could make magic. Um, what? Okay. If he had ult, he would make magic, but he doesn't have ult. That's actually going to be enough time for Harmalife Esports to make their But Kingen's here. Don't worry. Don't you worry, child. Kingen's got a plan for you. Kingen's just dancing after them. You can see Bulldog has just been routed. And he's running. Kingen. The culling's going to come in here as Viper dashing forward. Bulldog still needs to be respected for Twisted of Death. Bomba. I think so. I didn't know he died. Nice damage dealt. Farming it. Either way, Big ult. I think Taeyun's mechanics, or like Taeyun's arrows especially, have been pretty good this game. Rapid fire up. Time to dash in. <laughs> Wait for rapid fire again. <laughs> rapid fire up. Dash in. <laughs> rapid fire up. Where's the dash? There it is. <laughs> dash in on cooldown. King in! Oh, imagine that was an instant triple. Oh, he died. <laughs> it looked really cool. I think the Nexus is still gonna fall here. So many super minions. You just can't defend this as Quantum Freaks. They're trying their damage, so they got a big. Wait, they're actually holding on. No, Zekka's just saying, go fucking go in. <laughs> His whole team's running, but Zekka's going in. He's gonna grab a double kill here. Tayu now in trouble. Oh, triple! He just one versus three of them. He goes golden now by oh, the damage down savior. He's alive. He's doing such good work. Holy Zeka. Now the Nexus will be proud. Just and fucking end. Second one. <laughs> oh, dude, it's such a pleasure to watch Zeka. Dude, so pro play right now is so fun. So and he's I, I love pro play right now. Every almost every team has something to be enjoy like enjoy in especially in LP in LK because we haven't seen LEC yet. Like LCK is fucking hype, LPL is fucking hype, LEC is gonna be fucking hype. Like the the teams and the players right now are super cool, I think.